4,000 years ago. In the Bronze Age. On the island of Crete. The Minoan culture of the Aegean civilization flourished. The achievements of the islanders have become the foundation of the modern Western world. Their artifacts have not yet revealed all the secrets. Minoans, the first civilization of Europe. Near the ruins of the Achaean palace at the Greek city of Pylos. During the excavation of the intact tomb of the so-called Griffin warrior. A seal called Pylos Combat Agate was discovered. Dated between the 17th and 16th centuries BC. The seal was created in Minoan Crete in the Late Bronze Age. This was almost two centuries before the Cyclopean citadels in Greece. The ancient seal is intricately carved from agate gemstone. The length of the artifact is 36 mm, or one and a half inches. Some elements are less than half a millimeter or two hundredths of an inch. A person with good eyesight cannot see the fine details. The technique for making this unique work of art is not clear. The impression of the stamp seal on the clay tablet was used to confirm identity. The more complex the stamp drawing was, the higher the status of the owner. The seal was worn like a piece of jewelry and was a symbol of a person's position in society. On the gem we see three figures, the victor and his two opponents. The shield bearer receives a fatal blow, and the swordsman has already fallen in battle. The scene of the warrior's triumph over the enemy is known from the Minoan seals of Crete. This ancient legendary canonical image was borrowed from ancient Egypt. The same image illustrated historical events in Mesopotamia and Asia Minor. Therefore, it is possible that a real battle is depicted on the gem. While the winner represents the hero model for the warriors of the Aegean. The artifact from Crete differs from its Middle Eastern counterparts in realism. The artist's excellent knowledge of anatomy allows him to convey the dynamics of battle. The warrior on the right dominates the entire scene, and is the main character. His shoes were carefully painted by the ancient Egyptian artists. The loincloth of the Minoan man does not interfere with his quick movements. This is the most detailed depiction of the sword scabbard in existence. Jewelry on the neck was an obligatory attribute of the Minoan hero. Long, curly hair was another characteristic of the hero warrior. On the wrist of the right hand, an ancient master carved a bracelet. And on the left wrist we probably see the agate seal itself. The influence of Egypt can be traced in the decoration in the form of papyrus. In his right hand the warrior holds a long bronze sword of type A. The position of the sword in the whole scene indicates the symbolism of this weapon. At the same time, the sword indicates the social status of the victor and the fallen warrior. Opposite the main figure is the figure of a doomed warrior with a shield. The shield bearer wears the kilt skirt common among Minoan men. From the pattern on the kilt, one can tell who the warriors were who lost the battle. A large, shield in the shape of a figure 8 was the main defense of the Aegean warrior. Late Bronze Age, states lined up their shield bearers in a phalanx. Perhaps warriors with rapier-style swords were employed to break this formation. Few of the elite swordsmen faced the mass of infantrymen. It took courage and skill to plunge into the sting of the enemy's spears. Perhaps the swordsmen were protecting the heavy infantry from enemy skirmishers. The shield bearer is armed with a bronze group D pointed spear. On his head he wears a bronze helmet with the popular religious spiral pattern. A warrior fallen in battle is armed only with a sword, like a victorious hero. A fallen warrior is not an impersonal enemy, but a symbol of the tragedy of human death. The victor does not trample the fallen, but signifies the moment of life's triumph. The Pylos Combat Agate is one of the most important Minoan artifacts. 
It is a unique source of knowledge about technology, military affairs and the worldview of the ancient Cretans. It is a harbinger of the ideas of ancient, and Western European humanism. It shows the origins of classical and therefore modern art. And besides, the Agate of Pylos allows a glimpse into a vanished world of the first civilization in Europe.